Welcome back to another video of World of Warcraft, where we're going to play Hunter, because that's what you guys pretty much liked. <laughs> we're a dwarf hunter. Anyway, let's play. So, so far this uh, this run is actually looking pretty good. Um, we're farming cats, apparently. Time to slap some tigers. Actually found a pretty good farm uh, for this. I can't remember which character we played. We'll see. It takes a while to kill these animals. We're actually done with the bear. They didn't charge us, so that's a good thing. So yeah, I can't really can't wait until we get level 10. It's gonna be juicy. Someone, or, someone already looted that corpse. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure about that? We also need to repair our gear. Our, our gear is completely busted. Dude, I don't even know where we are. Got a vendor here. Oh, we can repair the gear. Pretty good. Two attack power, one sword. One-handed sword. Don't really want to go too in-depth into our... We've got a new dagger also. So we can train fishing here, which is weird because it looks frozen. Okay, we've got to get these bears. Oh, you dodged. What do hake? I think we'll lean more towards uh, Beast Mastery once we level. And I think some of your agility also scales towards it, if I'm not mistaken. Also have an extra bag, which almost never happens. But we are gonna get ourselves a nice boar. Gonna level with a boar. But it sounds boring, right? I don't know, man. People like to watch Hunters, apparently. So far, it's our best performing series. So we'll keep on keeping on. There's another bear here. And 
And we are level 8 still. Almost level 9. Get that cat. Why are you missing, lady? You're supposed to be better with guns. Why are you missing? What are you doing? Okay, so that's done. Now it's just bears. Do need that 200 axe or any kind of 200 weapon. That would be great. Okay, 200 yards. We have to run this way and then we can hand in a few quests. Potentially just one of them. Okay, we are there on the map. So the place I was farming is actually there. Uh, there's a rare or something close by. That's why we hear, heard that ping noise. Thank you, adventurer. It'll be nice to work our crafts without hearing so many growls and snorts outside the village. Here's your cask of Evershine, adventurer. And again, thank you for the hunting earlier. Fill your tankard and pull up a chair. We've stories to tell and kegs to empty. Buy Thunder Ale. Good and pull up a chair. We've stories to tell and kegs to empty. Keep your feet on the ground. It says downstairs. Oh, there we go. Hey, this guy has a pet already. That's cheating. Well, because I, don't, I can't have one yet. Uh, train your class spells. You got my attention. Through rigorous retraining, I have had to break many students of all they had previously learned so that I might teach them anew. The service I offer becomes increasingly difficult to perform each time it is done. It is for that reason that it becomes increasingly expensive with each retraining. Do you desire that I break you of the talents you have learned? Well, you just got the stuff. Wow. Wow, that's actually insane, dude. 11 intel, 10 spirit for a priest. How are Yes, this will do just fine. I think I'll open a bottle right now and have a taste. Be good. Okay, we got a new weapon.
What? It's a wonder? Dude, you got you got this wand also. Dude, that's insane. We just got some great loots. We got a hand in quest here, and it seems like we'll never hand it in. Let's just hand it in ourselves then, while we're here. Since we are at that level 9, we're gonna try and push to get that level 10. It's gonna be juicy. Master, these gyro mechanic gears and restabilization cogs are in perfect accordance with Ozzy's schematics for the recombobulation device. Once I add some hydro lubricant to the inner combustion pistons, adjust the crank a ratchet and increase of the viscosity of the electrogum gel, the gnomish race will be as good as new. Fairly weak beverage. Okay, travel to Shimmer Ridge, follow the arrow, and run up the mountain. I guess it's one of those quests we'll have to wait for him to walk away. This is not good. Yeah, we had the potion there. Unfortunately.
Okay, job's done. They're ready to work. Let me tell him. I just got a weapon also. <laughs> oh. Nice. We have to be very careful here because it could be a rare here called Timber. Okay. So we can sell this dagger. And the mace. Because they're a big disgrace. We can maybe put that in the auction house. Hi. Not bad, adventurer. Did you have a hard time getting past their guard? No matter. Many thanks. And if you're ever in need of stout with a kick, don't forget the barley brews. Great! I can't wait to use these in some of my recipes. There's one in particular I think it'll work great in. I'd like my brother Wellard to try my new shimmer stout. He's a mountaineer, stationed in the Southern Guard Tower, one of two towers on the border to Loch Modan. He may not be a brewer like the rest of us barley brews, but he loves his drinks and I know he'll like this one. Can you bring him this barrel of shimmer stout for me? How about no, dog? What if I don't want to? What you gonna do? What you gonna do if I say no to you? Huh? I just gotta kill five people here. But how do I do that? Ah, dude, it's definitely inside the cave. Slap it like it's hot. Armor is reduced by 192. That's quite a lot. That's a big debuff, dude.
Oh shit. I think I maybe ran too far away. Yeah, I didn't kill him. He wasn't three elf. Just sucked that I pulled both. Another hunter here. Okay, we got him. to group up. You know, we're fine actually on this. You see, the thing is, if I pull this one, they're gonna just steal my guy, I think. See, there he goes. Told you.
These guys are actually very easy to kill as hunters because they remain in distance. And we're out of here. Wait, we have another quest to explore this place. What the? That guy is a goblin, dude. Dude, we're getting close to the level 10. It's about to go, dude. Yeah, that sounds nasty. Why are you gay? Keep running, buddy. Boom! Headshot! Oh, grind. Experience. Okay. If you say so. Five thousand one hundred experience. It's it's eight hundred XP grind they want us to do. Just spawn next to us. How dare you? Oh, hi there, kitty. Then see you there, my bad. Trying to poison it, but that ain't gonna happen.
And I'm just trying to get to my spot, dude. Where we found before. It's around here somewhere. There it is. Found you. Wow, Yuki. Yeah, we're done grinding or farming. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Can't touch this. Literally. Well, that's the fastest grind I could have done, I think. We can put this one on the auction house for 14 silver. That ain't too bad. When's Aspen of the Cheetah, bro? Eh? Maybe only level 20. Yeah. Yeah, level 10 for hunters is absolutely huge. That pet becomes your tank, 
and you literally just, oh my goodness, is a dead body. What the heck? So yeah, I can't believe that uh, the part one of uh, the hunter is actually doing pretty good. It's the class that I thought was going to be the weakest or the lowest view count uh, because people consider it as the easiest class to level. So I didn't expect this to do too, uh, too well, to be honest. But hunter was my initial thought what I wanted to play. Um, if not hunter, I think I would have wanted to play a druid. But then the guy that I'm playing with said... A rogue or a warlock will be more watch uh, and and a warrior, so I should be choosing between those three. Oh, adventurer, oh, I didn't think you'd have much trouble finding the place. My directions are excellent, you know. Let me just finish up my report then. There. Well, haha. Now this certainly is funny. I don't suppose, adventurer, that you would mind doing one last favor for me. Excellent. Take my report to Senator Baron Redstone. He's a sour type, so don't let his less than sunny disposition get to you. He's in Ironforge, in the chamber where King Magni holds court. Don't know the way to Ironforge? Take the road out of Caranus North, cross the bridge, then follow the road east. There are large banners flanking the road up the mountainside. By the way, if you might avoid mentioning how you assisted me. Can't let them think I'm not working hard out here, you know? Do, 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 do. See you soon. So it's say there that I should be training my... I should be doing my quest now for the hunter. But I can't because I'm not level 10. So we need to grind a bit more XP. 700 experience to be exact. Which is a little bit weird. But the calculations is not correct. But it's I. I think. I mean, I, I would have kept farming if I knew we were gonna be out. Obviously. Who would play a gnome warrior, bro? Honestly. How much XP are we getting per kill? Sixty. So we need to get ten kills at the very least. That ain't too bad. With all the free skinning we're getting. I'll take it. Thanks, brother.
Ooh, a 60 crit. Why don't we get two handed weapons, dude? There's a chest. Get this chest. We got two potions there, it's not bad. Twenty two copper in the auction house for those potions. It's like it's for free. Yeah, there's two of them next to each other. That means I'm I. Right. Don't have to fight that. Got another sword here. 2.4. It says upgrade, but it's for the offhand, not the main end. Bro, are we even gonna get 15 silver for that? From the auction house. I mean, vendoring is 3 silver, so it's... It's even not that bad. And level 10. Increase health of pets by 3%. So yeah. Just have to get out of here now. So we'll take all of all this. And then we're gonna take this, increasing your armor of pits. Can't believe I actually got out of this place with the hunter, dude. That was so scary on part one. That was really scary.
And I'm like, I'm like returning to the crime scene right now. Getting a little bit of revenge. Didn't get many comments on that video, to be honest, about what happened. Like, if I'm really the one to be blamed. Because, like, as much as I can take the blame, I can blame the other hunter as well, right? He could shoot the ones that is on me. I could shoot it again of him. And we could have an infinite juggle between us all, right? But instead, he leaves the party immediately and run, like, doesn't even run. He just stands still. I don't know if he was trying to hearth or, like, what he was doing there. But, like, I, I honestly think he should have done more. Or This is just Christmas for me right now. Thank you. Okay, that's more than enough. Let's let's get our board in. I know boards are boring, but they are the way to go. They have pretty decent armor, so they are pretty tanky. They have charge, which will keep the enemies stationary in their position. I know it might sound stupid, but like it's so good, right? If you can keep the enemy, like, standing at the same spot, it's just so good. So whenever you tell your pet to go attack, the enemies generally just don't move. Oi, come loot your board, dude. What the heck? But yeah, I'm almost playing World of Warcraft only, like, religiously right now. We need to play other games also. We're, we're a variety channel, dude. Like, what are you doing? Let's do this. Hi there, lass! La -la 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 -la. You know how you can gain a pet of your own? Well, let's get started. There's nothing more important than your equipment when it comes to hunting. But we can chat about my new shrapnel blaster some other time. For now, let's focus on something I'm sure you're quite interested in. A pet. The best way to learn is for you to try out several creatures as companions and see what you like. So, find a large crag boar, then use the taming rod to tame it. Okay, so the taming rod. For now, it's an item in your inventory, but later it will be a spell in your spell book. So we're only going to use a boar, that's for sure. Large crag boar. Talk to me. I know, I know. You're wondering what's next, aren't you? Those crag boars are quite burly. Maybe you'd like something with a little more finesse. All right, then, I've got just the thing. South and east of here, you'll find large white cats called snow leopards. Just like an elegantly carved rifle. Behind their beautiful exterior lies a powerful fighter capable of doing extreme damage. You'll find them to be much more agile and swift than the boar you tamed. Take this taming rod and see how you like the snow leopard. Oh, 
Where's me snow leopard? Uh, it's dead. Did I see one here? There we go. They're not really more swift. They have claw and dash. But dash is... It's a way longer cooldown than charge. And dash does zero damage. Where charge does... It does a stagger. Like a mini stun. Not just that, but it's a, it's a gap closer. Way better than dash would ever be. But cats do more DPS when it comes to dungeons. But a boar can solo tank dungeons if the healer can play well. Especially in Season of Discovery. What's on your when I feel you've learned enough, I will grant you the ability to choose any pet of your liking. Perhaps you'd like a creature that possesses little more than brute strength. The Ice Claw Bear is an excellent companion for a fledgling hunter like yourself. And can be found east of Karanos. Here is the Taming Rod. Try this animal as a pet and see if you like it. When you return, I'll give you the skills you will need to tame an animal of your choosing. This creature will face the challenges you face and gain experience alongside you. I will also show you how to call it and dismiss it as you like. So bears is the most tanky of the pets, if I'm not mistaken. But they are also very bad when it comes to aggro keeping. So even though they're they are the tank pet, they are most probably the weakest pet of them all. I feel like if you want to go for the highest damage, maybe a serpent would be the best thing to do. If you want to go for tanky, in my opinion, the boar is the best option. Um So they have Ice Claw, but they have no gap closer. But they are the lowest damage dealing pet. If I remember correctly. So in my opinion, the Boris is overall the best one. It's the most tankiest pet you get with a gap closer. Um, if you just care about pure damage, I would go with the Serpent. And the only place that I know where to get Serpents is uh, Crossroads, just below Crossroads. Uh, I can't remember the name. Aaron's uh, over here. Camp at uh, whatever. Uh, roughly here, like next to the road. The serpents will be there. I think you need to be like level 17-ish. Uh, but by then you should have a frost trap. A freezing trap, you only get it at 20. So you'll put the frost trap down while you tame and then... Once they walk into the trap. Here you are, adventurer. I will now give you the power to tame a beast, as well as call it and dismiss it as you please. Find yourself a good, loyal pet and enjoy the hunt. Adventurer, you now have the power to tame a pet, but you must also gain the skills to train it. Travel to Iron Forge and find the Hall of Arms. There you must speak to one of our most revered animal trainers, Belia Thundergranite. She'll give you the power to train your new pet, so get going, lass. Belia is a friendly sort. You should have no problems gaining her approval. Good luck, adventure. It's a level 7 one, but it's okay. It's a level 6. There we go, there's our pet. The boar, you can see the uh, HP bar is red. And the best way to... To keep your pet happy is to feed the pet. 
We might have to train it though. So now we got Aspect of the Horde. We got we got uh, we got Serpent Sting. Track humanoids. Training. I have had to break many students of all they had previously learned, so that I might teach them anew. The service I offer becomes increasingly difficult to perform each time it is done. It is for that reason that it becomes increasingly expensive with each retraining. Do you desire that I break you of the talents you have learned? Very good. Welcome. Pet is extremely unhappy. When do we get feed, Pet? I know I have a pet macro. Travel to Iron Forge. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the best food you can give a boar is bread. Bread and meat. Mm, no, a serpent is bread. Which is why the mage food is so good, right? Because the mage food is the best in slot bread. Uh, for serpents. So you just have to get like a mage friend that gives you mage food and you'll be fine. Also, if I'm not mistaken, if your pet becomes too unhappy, they would eventually just leave you. And from round four, we'll use Asper the Hawk. So Aspect of the Hawk, uh, you can only have one Aspect active. So we had Aspect of the Monkey. Monkey gives you dodge chance. So it's very good for PvP. Uh, but Aspect of the Hawk increases your uh, range attack power by 20. So we'll do way more damage with the gun now. Uh, also, when it comes to our talents, we're going to go down the tree to make our pet as strong as possible. So right now, we're increasing its health. Next up, it shows that we're going to increase its armor. I don't know what after that. Maybe increasing in uh, outdoors movement speed, uh, which is again another gap closer. Uh, I mean, 30% is no small number. Um... I don't know, it's one of the reasons why you take cooking, is to feed your pet. Uh, if your pet is red like it is now, it's just unhappy state. And uh, if I press P, for example, no, not P, if I press C, uh, there's a pet bar, and it will show it's very unhappy. The diet is meat, fish, cheese, bread, fungi, and fruit. I guess it's another reason to have boars, because they almost eat anything. Because boars is technically wild pigs. What's on your You've come for training in order to pass it on to your pets? A new recruit, eh? You're on your way to becoming a great adventurer, I see. Yes, I can bestow you with the skills you need to train and guide your pet. Not only will you be able to teach your pet new abilities, you will now be able to feed your pet, as well as revive it, should it fall in battle. Remember that the key to getting the most from your new pet is to respect it and treat it well. In turn, your pet will be your most loyal friend. By the way, don't, like, chain feed your pet. You have to wait a few seconds. Uh, if you click on your pet, it shows a feeding buff. You have to wait for that buff to fall off first. So you can see now it's, it's a different color. I must probably use a weak aura for this. Because it will just be so much easier. Uh, 
And by the way, the the higher quality of food you give, uh, the faster your pet's happiness goes up. The less food is needed. We want to go to the auction house quickly so we can put up this wand. Uh, also this sword most probably. Because it's plus two attack power, but it's not ranged attack power. So it's good for rogues. We want to actually send it to my rogue. It's a pretty insane weapon. Dude, they want a dollar? Oh, sorry, a gold? That's crazy. Uh, blacksmithing. Cooking 25. We're going to get there. I didn't put the wand up. We have a hand in quest here, dude. How the heck do we get there? What can I do for you? Safe travels. Watch your back. So you can see our boar is still not happy, but we want to do some cooking. Here we go. What can I? Authority of the king. Has Magni taken complete leave of his senses? And that damnable Whitebeard? Taken matters into his own hands, has he? The Senate will not be pleased to hear about this, not one bit. What, are you still here? Go before I call the guards. Uh, let's just do this. Um, interface. Uh, I will automation. Auto quests, auto gossip, sell junk, repair. That's fine. It's because we're accepting quests we shouldn't. From this uh from this add-on, it should only accept quests. I should in theory be doing my leatherworking stuff here. Should we do it quickly? What do you need directions to? Which profession trainer would you be looking for? Fimble Fine Spindle has a shop set up on the northwest side of the Great Forge. I wager he could show you how to make some fine armor. Yeah, I kind of think we just have to do that right now. Also, cooking, we can do quite a bit of it. We have so much ruined leather. Dude, it's gonna take so long. 
23 of it. I most probably will just do it and then go take a pee and stuff, so I will skip it for you guys. Once it's done, we'll get back. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so that's done. Um, now we want to craft the cheapest stuff. Hey. Well, I declare it's a new student. I'll gladly teach you everything I know once you have a little more skill. Go talk to Greta Fine Spindle over there, would you? She'll have you up to speed in no time. So, two leather. I think it's just this one. What's this? Ready Cry of the Dragon Slayer? So we're gonna just craft this until it's green. Okay, it's green. Burn it, my attention. Oof, that's expensive. Can I help you? This hide isn't ready to work with yet. I wish it didn't take so long to make leather. There has to be some way to cut down on all this waiting. It can't be good for my health, you know? Okay, so now... We want to make this, right? Okay, let's do it. What? Am I lagging? I think I was lagging. So craft this until it's green. It's still yellow, nice. My goodness, bro, please. Okay, it's still hello. Pleased to meet you. This hide isn't ready to work with yet. I wish it didn't take so long to make leather. There has to be some way to cut down on all this waiting. It can't be good for my health, you know? You have a great day now. This hide isn't ready to work with yet. I wish it didn't take so long to make leather. There has to be some way to cut down on all this waiting. It can't Ooh. be good for my health, you know? Two spur, two stamina boots. But this is more efficient. Because I don't think we need green items anymore. At least not yet. And some of your stats does carry over to your pet, just by the way. If you didn't know. Salutations! Right. Greetings! Seeing you. Here they are. Mm. Your skills are coming along nicely. Soon you'll be running a leather shop of your own. I'll be glad for the help, adventurer. My hands are only so fast, you know? There's so much work to do. Off and away. Okay, so that's all our leather done. I feel like now we want the cooking guy. What do you need directions to? 
Which profession trainer would you be looking for? Ugh, oh, that Daryl Ricknerson is a brilliant cook. He makes a chili so hot you could temper steel with it. I don't think he'll teach you the recipe, but he'll certainly help you to become a good cook. You'll find him at the Bronze Kettle or on the northeastern side of the Great Forge. Okay, so cooking train right here. Huh? How are you? See you soon. Hi. I'll keep him fed, kid. Yep, Daryl Rick Newson at your service. Safe travels. I don't even have cooking yet. Oh yeah, beast training. Dip 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 dip. Where's cooking, Mabri? There it is. Requires fire, yeah, it's so weird. I'm at the cooking trainer, but... That's so weird, bro. So, sorry, Boar, I know that you're red. With your happiness, but like, there's nothing I can do right now. Can we cook here? <laughs> this is somewhat of a fire, isn't it? time dude okay we need to just go to the auction house again we have no gear we want to really give armor to so we'll sell everything we'll maybe keep four for ourselves I feel like the hardest part for a hunter is done. After you get your pet, you are home free. Generally speaking. Let's see here.
Okay, when do we get heal? Pet heal. Our pet's gonna die here. We heard the cries in the middle of the night. Then this morning, sure enough, the herd was missing two rams. Dastardly beast known as Vagash has been preying on our livelihood, with most of King Agnes off in distant lands fighting with the Alliance. There is no one to keep Vagash at bay. Perhaps you are brave enough to seek out the beast and slay him. Bring me one of his fangs, and I will reward you. Vagash lurks just above the ranch here, but be warned, he is deadly. No problem, brother. I got you. Great. Very well done. Baron will be so happy when he hears the good news. To kill Vegas is no easy task. I imagine one day you'll be fighting alongside King Magni's men on the Alliance front. We need to keep an eye out for a fireplace. I don't know if this counts. Don't look at them, Bower. <laughs> Don't look at them. They're killing your brothers and sisters. Goodness. I'm sorry. They're killing your body type 1 and 2. Hey, we can do cooking here. my feeding
Uh, what do you want me to do here? Fill your bags with can I get for bread. I assume it's to feed your pet, but yeah, we're okay. Uh, how's our ammo? Triple seven. As a member of the Senate and the Explorers League, I've taken it upon myself to take care of this part of the trog infestation that has gripped our lands. They've certainly made a mess of Golbola Quarry, and for no reason. As we dug deep into the earth, they poured out, destroying our equipment and driving the miners out. There's not much for us to do but to exterminate the lot of them. Rebuild. If you help me with the trogs, gladly recompense. So we don't have growl yet. Those light blasted trogs turning my worksite into a wreck. Look at that. There goes another barrel of powder. Oh, I wish I could go down there and wring every one of their scrawny little necks. I want to kill them all. This can't be good for my health. All this stress and anger. What have they left me with? Nothing. I kill them myself, but my aim's no good anymore. You go into the quarry and kill some of the filthy buggers. I'll pay you. Just hurt them, kill them. I don't know what level we get growl. I think maybe pet should be level 10. So our pet at the moment is pretty useless. Our pet leveled up. I feel like we should just poison. Oh, we got training points. We have two. Oh, we get growl, man.
Did I disconnect? Yeah, we're lagging. Level 10. Hey, our pet's tanking. Oh shit. My pet might die here. My pet survived. Yeah. Okay, we're done here. He didn't take the chest, he just like looked into it, I guess. Maybe his inventory is full? fuck we're dead that's in keep running out dude holy shit I'm still in combat. I'm still in combat, dude. Could you? was close and our pet will die again oh my god bro I thought I was dazed
It is a start. Hopefully we can take advantage of it and move some mountaineers in to secure the area. Then we can begin to restore our infrastructure and get the miners back to work. Thank you for your assistance, adventurer. Well, that makes me feel a little better. But I won't be happy until they're all dead. All of them. All right. So let's uh, feed this pet now. I just had to look up a macro, and the macro doesn't work at the moment because we need mend pet, and mend pet you only get at level 12. So at level 12 this macro will work. So what will happen is if you have no pet, you will call your pet. If you have if you have a pet active, it will mend pet. And if your pet is dead, it will just uh it will just mend uh it will just uh revive pet. So it's a pretty good macro. Okay, Boris Green again. Needs level 10, our pet's currently level 8. Then we'll get Growl level 2. Also need to clear out our bags. We also get a white boar. Might be better to get the white boar. It's level 9. Sorry, bro. Level 9 boar. One level higher. So once the buff falls off, we'll, he'll give him more food. And by the way, if your pet goes into combat while you're feeding him, uh, he will drop the food pretty much and start attacking, if that makes sense. My friend and fellow siege engine pilot, Maury Hildelv, is lost in the hills. We were looking for a rare ore that's needed for a high-grade blast powder. And during our search, he drove his engine up a steep hill and busted it. Still convinced that ore was in these mountains, Hildelv charged me to guard our engines while he continued on foot, searching. It's been days, and I've heard some beastly growls in the hills at night. Maury's tough as nails, but I'm worried. Please, adventurer, find him. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we need to get Growl 1. By the way, you can also uh, level up a survival and then you become a melee uh, hunter. It's also pretty good. It's very high damage. Um, and you'll save quite a bit of money when it comes to, you know, not buying bullets or arrows. Let's just not talk. I want to tell him that, you know, pets learn the same abilities. Because they pretty much do. I can't believe the guy is saying that the owl is the best pet. Ah, oh, dude, I shouldn't have killed it. We should hand this in first. My bad. Now we should kill it. Well, that sucks. Now we have to wait here. We can kill some uh, boars while we wait. Wait, 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 don't... Ah, it's already charging. He's hungry again. spawned. Man, he's not looting, so I can't. Leave party. I wonder if poison is still broken in this, like in classic. I know in Seasonal Discovery it was absolutely busted. The scorpion pet. What? This is grim news, for Hildelf was a good friend. And I wish I could have been there with you when you found the beast, Manjaclaw. Thank you, adventurer. 
Your deed will be remembered by the pilots of the Iron Forge Siege Brigade. What? Now it's telling me to run this way again? That's weird. I think uh, uh, boars is only good if you go beast mastery. That's that's my opinion. I would say as well. I think any other spec, I would rather have a cat. Uh, there is uh, also dinos. Uh, also, dino is as good as uh, cats also. Maybe that it's sending me like maybe there's like a shortcut path. This stuff really puts a shine in your eyes. I feel like I can see in the dark. I've been drinking more of that shimmer stout my brother made. It's great stuff. I want a fellow mountaineer to try it. His name's Kadrell, and he's usually patrolling the road through Thelsamar in Loch Modan. To get to Thelsamar, go southeast through the tunnel, then turn northeast when the path forks into a road. Follow that road straight into Thelsamar. Give Mountaineer Cadrill this cask of Shimmer Stout and see what he thinks. Like, cats, like if, you, if you're going to spam dungeons with leveling as, uh, as a Beastmaster, first of all, I wouldn't play Beast Mastery, right? I would play Marksmanship. Marksmanship does way more damage. And I would use a cat then as my pet. Where if you're using Beast Mastery for leveling up, when you take percentage health, when you take armor, uh, it's just way better to have a boar. Adventurer, with so many of the king's soldiers fighting valiantly on remote battlefields, we've become overwhelmed on the home front. Trogs are tunneling up from every crevice. The trog infestation poses the largest threat to Ironforge. These disgusting mutants must be destroyed. We need you, brave adventurer, to venture forth and lay waste to the trog threat. Slay ten stone splinter trogs and ten stone splinter scouts and report back. Adventurer, you may or may not be aware of the trog threat looming over dwarven lands. With the Ironforge Reserve called up to the Alliance front, we are left with a fraction of the defense forces needed to keep these lands safe. My regiment is assigned to watch over the gate here, and we cannot leave our post for fear of invasion. But we need some pressure put on those damn trogs lurking in the hills. If you're up to the task, wage an assault on the trogs. Bring me back eight trogstone teeth as proof. Level 12 men pet were 11. 11 and uh, about 20%. Yeah. 25%. 
There's extremely strong pets. There, like, even though people will tell you cats is the best, there is better cats and there's worse cats. Like, if you want to go cat, uh, the reason why you do that is because after they get crit, they get increased attack speed. So what you want to do is you want to have the pet with the highest attack or, yeah, the fastest attack speed. And to do that, you'll have to... Obviously, it's it's not... It's not fair. Shortage of empty bellies here in Thelzamar. Kids running in and out. Workers from the excavation coming in after a hard day's work. We're famous for our blood sausages. I don't suppose you've ever tried them. No? Well, around here, you've got to work for your meals. And don't think just because you're a fancy adventurer, you'll be any exception. I'll need bear meat, boar intestines for the casings, and spider icor for spice. You get me some of those and leave the cooking to Vidra. Safe travels. There's, uh... I think the fastest... Fill your tankard and pull up a chair. We've stories to tell and kegs to empty. The fastest attacking cat-like is a... Welcome to if I'm not mistaken, it's a dino... It's a dinosaur. Elsimar is a nice place, but it's not all beer and salted meat for those who answer the call to duty. If you're willing to face danger in the name of the Alliance, then read the poster outside the Thelsimar branch of the Explorer's League. I've been drinking more of that shimmer stout my brother made. It's great stuff. I want a fellow mountaineer to try it. His name's Kadrell, and he's usually patrolling the road through Thelsimar in Loch Modan. To get to Thelsimar, go southeast through the tunnel, then turn northeast when the path forks into a road. Follow that road straight into Thelsimar. Give Mountaineer Cadrill this cask of shimmer stout and see what he thinks. Now let me have a taste. Magni's beard. This stuff gets your head turning. And it lightens the limbs too. I feel like I can fly. We have a real infestation problem to the west. Tunnel rat kobolds have moved into the foothills, setting up dens and fouling our land with their filth. We want them eliminated. Hunt them, bring me their ears and earn their bounty. You can find tunnel rat kobolds and their dens west of Thelsamar, littered along the mountainside. I hear Mountaineer Stormpike is looking for a runner. Someone to do a little travelling for him. How about it? Are you the person for the job? If so, then you'll find Stormpike at the top of the Northern Guard Tower. I see a lot of young dwarves at my door, eager to learn the trade of mining. And if there's one thing a miner needs more than anything, it's a pick. I have a list of mining students who scored high in their lessons and earned an honorary pick. Take my list to Golna Boldato in Iron Forge. He'll get the picks ready. The fastest way to Iron Forge is on a griffin. So bring the list to our griffin master, Thorgrim Borrelson, and speak with him about transport to Iron Forge. Don't have mend yet, so I have to mend the pit myself. With first aid or something. But did you guys see the guy with the bear? Like he didn't have charge. So like he had to run backwards in order to keep the the, the 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 enemy away. But with charge, I can just stand still and say pit attack, and the enemy will remain in like at the spot that I start shooting. And that's why boars, in my opinion, is the best leveling pet. Because they're tankier and they have charge. And there's zero comparison. Look, I'm decently close to the enemy. Look, he's standing at the spot. He's attacking my bear immediately. There is just no comparison. Bears doesn't do the... Oh, sorry. Boars doesn't do the highest damage, right? I think even bears do higher damage than them. But when it comes to leveling, there's just no comparison. Like, there's... Nothing even remotely coming close. Not even slightly. I think Serpents does the highest damage. But it's it's not like a one-to-one -one ratio, I would say. It resisted the growl.
someone skinning now. We got quite a bit of skinning to do here then. We still getting ruined scraps, dude. Wow. So you can you can pretty much say that a boar is like twice as useful as a bear is. It's not really the case, but it's close. My level 53 druid died last week. Resisted the charge, didn't resist the the the, the taunt. Here yeah, we have to kill a lot of animals now. Spiders, bears, boars, and like, I think there's a fourth one. No, there's not. There's only those three for now. Hey, our pet leveled again. We don't have 5 TP. But we do have a growl upgrade. So also if I don't... If I'm not mistaken, the pet has the best growl in the game. I think it's even better than enemies. Oh, sorry, than... Than the growl from... Actual tanks, if I'm not mistaken. No, I could be wrong about that. I'm not 100% certain. almost died. Should I do a selfless plug on the guild?
Let's see if people are gonna be mad or like what's happening. There might be some people interested, I guess. Sell out. <laughs> Gotta respect the grind, boys. Let's subscribe to him. Just got a notification of someone subscribing. <laughs> Cookie time subscribe, bro. Thank you so much. Is the ability sprint allowed? Of course, dude. Why wouldn't it be? It's your only form of movement speed until level 40. Getting some pretty free skinning here, let's be honest. Sound really relaxed. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Someone complimenting my voice. When I watch it, I'm like, dude, can you get some excitement? And then I watch someone like XQZ and I'm like, dude, can you talk slower? Because like nothing you say makes sense. So I, I don't know. I try my best to have a good enough voice. Sometimes I think it's a little bit too deep. Okay, so the spiders is done. We'll just wait for the feed pet to go off. We need one more bear meat. So later down the line, it doesn't even matter if we have Growl or not. The, the pet will just keep aggro. Because the pet will do more damage than us. But for now, Growl is still, like, mandatory. Come on, bro. I need one more bear.
Can I just kill this hunter's pet? Can that be my final bear to kill? Go get him, pet. I called your names. Get him. Shot. We're not getting the, the bear meat. It just doesn't exist. Can we move this aggro meter? Because like it's not a big deal right now, but it's uh, it's gonna be a big deal later. How's the inventory looking? It's pretty empty. I mean, it's pretty full, right? I'm talking about my ammo. I think we should have enough to continue on, but we're going to run back. It's two hours. That means we have to end the video. So I'm going to just run back to base, clear out my inventory space, upload this video. I think I'll just record another one back to back. But yeah, we'll end the video here, guys. Um... We'll hand in the quest afterwards in the next episode. Um, I'm going to clear out my bags and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for being here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you guys in the very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.